Hey there! In this video we are going to show you how to increase your effectiveness with Ana. We are going to show you drills that you can do as Ana to increase your hit count, overall heal values and general effect on your team. Let's see how to practice her. First of all, what is the role of Ana? She is a long range sniper healer with abilities to support her team from long range and to deny enemy plays. She seems like a squishy target first but fighting against her is really frightening. She can burst heal teammates while dishing out decent amount of damage to the enemy characters. She can deny enemy healing and take care of key targets with her sleep dart. And on top of that, the nano boost ultimate can be game changing. Mmm, what a wonderful old lady. Oh, so you love playing her. Mmm, that's not your business at all. Okay, before we begin the Ana drills, we would love to emphasize the need for a good mouse setting. Ana is a really aim dependent character and you will want to find the perfect mouse setting before we begin. Just ask a question in the comments if you are unsure about this topic. As we begin the drills, we need to lay down the foundation for your Ana aiming skills. This part is pretty similar to the Hitscan type training as you need to learn the same concepts. Refer to the video in the description about mech training to learn even more. Ana's basic attack is a really fast projectile shot. It has a slight travel time on long range. Her scope shot is hitscan hover, meaning that the damage or healing is registered at the exact time of firing. Because of this duality, you need to practice different drills to improve your Ana aim skills. Let's begin drilling. Load up the tutorial map and stand in front of the steel bot. Your first drill is to track them with your mouse while moving around. This one teaches you how to land hip shots. Aim at the head for this drill, because while Anna cannot hit headshots, it is a good practice to track the head of the bot, making your tracking more precise. Make sure that your crosshair stays on the target for the full duration. Do this drill for 30 seconds. For the next drill, you need to do the same, but this time use the scope. Hold down the zoom and try to track your targets while moving left to right in an unpredictable manner. Try to mix moving left and right to be harder to hit. Imagine that you are in a 1v1 situation with a bot and that you want to avoid getting shot. Do this drill for 30 seconds. Alright, now that you got the hang of tracking, use these skills to move around in an unpredictable manner and hit zoomed and hip shot. The emphasis here is to move as chaotic as possible while still hitting your target. You want to master evasive movement with Ana as this skill is the most important when you want to stay alive. Use left to right movements and crouching. Try avoid jumping as this makes you predictable, but you can mix it in every now and then. Do this drill for one minute. For the next one, go back to the spawn room and change to May. You will master the sleep dart in this drill. It is very important that you learn how to land sleep darts as you can essentially turn an even fight into your team's favor in a second. For the best training experience, we recommend binding May's secondary attack to the same key that you use with Ana's sleep for this drill. Ok, but what is Mei doing in an Ana training video? Her icicle dart is very similar to Ana's sleep dart but with lower cooldowns. For this drill, you need to pretend that you are supporting your team looking at a random position. Now pretend that the bot just jumped into your screen and needs a good night's rest. Hit it with your icicle. Do this again and again, from different positions and different distances. You can also try doing 180 flips. Move around facing the wall in front of the bots and quickly turn around and land a shot. This helps you reacting to any unexpected situation, like a jumping boosted reaper or a boosted alting soldier. Do this here for 3 minutes. Alright, that's enough of helpless targets. Switch back to Ana in the spawn room and let's get to the dynamic drills. Go to the moving bot. The first exercise is to stand still and land your hip shots, zoom shots, sleep darts and nades. Try to predict where the enemy will be when you are using the dart and the nade. The task here is to rehearse the timing of these abilities while getting a hang of your damage output. Do this here for 1 minute. For this one, you need to start moving around a fixed point. Ana is really dependent on movement, so integrate it into your aim. Strafe, crouch, run around while hitting your targets like before. Use the same that you learned in the previous exercises. Do this here for 1 minute. The next exercise teaches you about a combo that you can use for the most damage output. It goes like this. Basic attack into sleep dart into basic attack into nade into basic attack into melee attack. Yeah that's right, it deals 335 damage altogether and why not instant, it is really hard to dodge. You can of course use parts of it as you see fit or if you missed any of the steps. So let's do this one more time. Basic attack into sleep dart into basic attack into nade into basic attack into melee attack. Master this and it will be really hard to win a fight against you up close. 
Do this here for one minute. The last one is a cooldown exercise. Use all that you have learned and kill the bot. Make sure that you don't stop moving and that you use the abilities in the combos. Do hip shots and zoomed ones too. You can also use the high ground too if you feel like. Do this drill for 2 minutes. That's the end of the 10 minute Ana aim drills. Please don't forget that while you are practicing against enemies here, Ana is a healer and not a damage dealer. So take care of your teammates. Usually it is more important to heal than to do damage with her. That being said, thank you for your attention. If you like what we are doing, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up and share this video. We have also opened the Discord channel for competitive minded Overwatch players and you are hereby invited to join our community. See you guys next time. Mmm.